you volunteered. Yes. And, and that's because? Uh, just, uh, I guess, a feeling of wanting to get back to the community. Tony Sapien has been volunteering for the L.A. Red Cross since 2018. He was deployed to help out in several hurricanes, but Sapien isn't going to Florida to necessarily help out with shelters and food and water. The mental health worker is going to help with people who may be dealing with anxiety and loss, the loss of pets and family members and a home. Sapien's trained on how to deal with this. Initially, you have to deal with, with loss, right, or a sense of loss. And then how is it that you're going to transition to not necessarily accepting that or integrating that into your day to day activities? You can contact redcross.org slash LA if you'd like to volunteer. Meanwhile, LA County has sent two people from their incident management team to help with logistics. In Orange County, Battalion Chief Kevin Fetterman is waiting for a call for more help. Our task force is ready 24 7, 365 to be able to deploy. Um, anywhere in the neighborhood of 80 people all the way down to 16 people. One of two already on the ground in Florida is Orange County Retired Division Chief Mike Boyle. Yo, you went from Orange County to Orange County, huh? Yes, we did. He talked to us from Orlando's Orange County Convention Center. We uh, rode the storm out. A lot of us stayed in, uh, in, in the convention center here. But outside, Ian was making a mess. The storm was pretty, very, very powerful. Uh, it came on shore, you know, it ran along kind of parallel to the coast of Florida, which with the strong side of the storm uh, influencing or impacting the state. Meanwhile, Governor Newsom has ordered state Office of Emergency Operations workers to Florida. So for the next few days, a lot of first responders are waiting to find out if they need to respond. Hal Eisner, Fox 11 News.